mission of the Love Lady Center focuses on the immediate needs of shelter, food, and clothing, of course. But more importantly, this organization invests in individuals to help them support themselves and end the cycle of hardship that is incredibly hard to break. Our population stays at about 400 women and around 75 to 80 children. So it's a, it's a, it's a busy spot. Uh, the program is set up to go through five phases and it takes, uh, if, every, if a woman comes in and does it as quickly as she could possibly do it, then she can do it in nine months. The typical stay is about a year. We are a six member team of counselors and we have an assistant and we have a rubber meets the road approach to counseling. No sugar coating or petting, although we will hold a hand from time to time. But don't let anybody know that. It's our <laughs> secret. <laughs> Carrie is uh, over our kids zone area. So um, I went through the program in 2010, um, just broken and um, didn't know didn't know Jesus and didn't know my worth. And I came in and um, I didn't really know that God was going to completely change my life, but He did. Um, and I've been clean, sober, living for Jesus. It was 11 years in February. And um, God's so good because if it wasn't for this program and for the people that come here, um, I wouldn't be who I am today. This program just showed me everything that I needed to know and put my faith back in where it needed to be. And I've been sober for over a year now. And the restoration with my family and my children has just since being here, and I'm so blessed to be a part of this ministry. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We just say, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> this kitchen cooks and serves about 500,000 meals a year, just feeding the, the women and children that are in the building here. These ladies are the ones that produce all those meals that I was talking about, Governor. Thank you so much for allowing me to visit with you today to hear some of your stories. And I just appreciate you sharing your life with me. And I just wish you each and every one Godspeed. Stay close to the Lord. Read your scripture. I think the book of John tells us what we all need to know and do. So I commend that to you. So may God continue to bless each of you, the city of Birmingham, and the great state of Alabama.